What's up beautiful people? How have you been? Welcome on board. This is Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Ben. You all know how we do it here, right? A big shout out to all the Moko Gang members. You guys are incredible. Thank you for showing this show so much love. I appreciate it. So now let's move straight into serious matters. This is the first segment of this program. Don't move. I'll be right back. Pour participer au Captain Bongo Bongo Challenge, constituez votre équipe de trois personnes âgées de 21 ans et plus, un Captain et deux autres membres du groupe. Reprenez la chorégraphie du refrain de Bongo Bongo à la fin de votre reprise. Posez tous comme Captain Morgan avec le pied gauche suspendu. Le Captain devra publier votre vidéo sur la page Facebook de l'île de l'Islameuse. Ajoutez les hashtags Captain Morgan, Bongo Bongo, Captain Bongo, Captain Slam. Nous primerons les 75 groupes ayant reçu le plus grand nombre de mentions j'aime. Tous les gagnants recevront un bon d'achat de 50 000 francs CFA. Soyez créatifs. Bonne chance. UK-based Cameroonian blogger now turned to rap and Nora Brown hits once more Attila Tafari with a drastically savage hardcore rap titled Moali. Do you all know that Nora Brown is more than Attila Tafari? She's two steps ahead of Attila Tafari. If you want to argue, check this out. Girl, I am more than you. More than you. Two steps ahead of you. Pass you. My rap flow waterfall. Go get below was just a clue. Uh, you the envy me. Right. If you want be like me. Like me. Any danger you knock, make you no be with from go fund me. Jamais, jamais, Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo. I'll be born for your next See me you. See me you. Double your trouble. Cut, cut your light. And eo. To understand the phase when Raron skipped from being a blogger, a sickle cell activist, and a philanthropist into becoming a full time rapper in this industry. Raron, do you even know that Tila Tafari is more than you in this industry? I'm not a rapper, but I body back to you. Just one song, them no fit recognize you. What do you want from Tila now? Boxing ring better. I go beat you like. Mo, 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 mo. Mama, you too much. You don't reach this stage. Put on your boxing gloves. Game. The domo is getting tough. Ooh, this industry is crazy. Nora Brown, I beg. I, I didn't use God in name beg you. Sorry, Tila, na. Just sorry, Tila. She's your grandson for this industry. Sorry, her, man. People say, make her just sorry you. Wait, yeah. Sorry you. I know if, if na mic, bring them. Let her weapon, bring them. Say you fit down. Bring them, bring them, anything, bring them, bring them. If not my, bring them, bring them. Let her weapon, bring them, bring them. You sabi down, bring them, bring them. See now, where you there? Them got mother don't run in the bushes. Like I be pointing gun. gun Her BP is up, but me, I'm just having fun. I feel like calling Tila Tafari right now. Tila, 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 Tila. Do you know that Nora Brown is hitting at you once more? Girl, I am more than you. More than you. Two steps ahead of you. Pass you. My rap flow waterfall. Go get below was just a clue. Uh, you the envy me. Right. If you want be like me. Like me. Any danger you knock, make you no be with you from go fund me. And what do you have to say about this? I go beat you like mo 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 Ali. I am reporting this this way for you to understand the kind of energy we are having present in the industry. It's extremely hot and it's not convenient for anybody. When people go out there and call this industry a baby industry, we go mad on the internet. And I feel like asking you this. Do the attitude of some of, of our celebrities really reflect the grandeur of the industry we say we have? That's the big question. We have been fighting for long now for this industry to get to the other level but the celebrities living in here are making things very difficult for the industry to go and we don't want that when it comes to fighting online our celebrities are so powerful if you guys are tired of doing this shit online take it offline go to the streets and see how things are done there Bonjour. Bonjour, Now pressing the dial for France with a slap and so if you try this thing for Cameroon, they will lock you, lock all your family for going then get straight. Controversy surrounding Prophet TB Joshua surfaced on the internet, disclaiming the fact that TB Joshua died on the 5th of June. 
According to reports coming from his family, TV Joshua died on the 5th of June. Now, there's a viral video on social media insinuating that TV Joshua had the life service on the 6th of June. I'm a question if, if he died on the 6th of June, how come he had the life service on the 6th of June? Watch this. TV Joshua life service. Here is the info. 6th of June. This is the time is pushing. TV Joshua. All of you are the same. TV Joshua. I'm a killer. I'm a killer. And he, he has been preaching about the same day. Two people have been talking about. Who has much more they carry rumors? I'm a killer. Who has much more they carry What are we supposed to make out of this? Come to think of it, what if Prophet TV Joshua actually knew he was going to die? They was all over the world. June 12 is around the corner. It will not be easy for me to celebrate my birthday. This only happens when your relationship with God is straight. Prophet TV Joshua was one of the most popular and most celebrated prophets in Africa. He has done so much for the Christian community. He has delivered people in and out of Africa and his revelations were always true. There is a man you are here, you know this woman that that came with you here today is a prostitute. I'm sorry for using this language. So it's a prostitute. If you people want to marry, you know you need deliverance. You are with the woman here now, now, now. As I'm talking, I'm looking at you. Man of God, I'm the one that brought prostitute from the Dubai and we came back to get married. Man of God had prophesied that and she's the one. And uh, I want to confess that uh, the prophecy is true. It's 100% true. One thing is sure, death is inevitable. Prophet TB Joshua is no more. He leaves behind a wife and three children, and his legacy will be enjoyed from generation to generation. May his soul rest in peace. After self proclaiming himself as the greatest rapper in Cameroon and in Africa, Jovi says he's the GOAT. Oof. I don't mean those goats. You all understand what I mean, right? Jovi says he's the only one we need to bow to. That he's if we fear him, we should fear God because he's close to God. What are we supposed to make out of this? Is Jovi saying that we should fear him rather than fearing God? Like, if you don't understand what I mean, just watch this video. If you don't fear me, fear God. Jehovah is the highest, and I'm the goat because I'm close. Ooh, are we not supposed to fear God before fearing Jovi? Why is Jovi asking people to fear him as if he was the most high God? Like, it's not a secret that the Boko Gang members are worshipping Jovi, but why take it as far as asking everybody to bow down to him as if he created the universe? Guys, check this out. I'm above you all. I'm the one you need to bow to. I'm the reason why you all got that attitude. I'm the one to who you gotta show gratitude. The highest moko if we talk in altitude. I'm a leader with followers who be in the multitude. I can't sit here and lie to you. It felt good when mommy said, God, they are proud of you. If you don't get what we are talking about here, this is Jovi's recently released EP titled Pressure and the bars are extremely hot here. And what is hot and juicy about this is that the EP first of all was unannounced. Nobody saw this coming. It's a 5 tracks EP and it's available on Jengu online. And it controversially comes when Ganyan rapper Sakodi earlier announced that he was going to release his 7th studio album titled No Pressure. If you listen to all the tracks on this EP, you will feel that the hardcore lyrics are going out straight to Sakodi and Lorica Joe. I'm not going to twist words on this because it's not a secret that Joe V has been in a cold war with Sakodi and Lorica Joe and he says Una not ever be my challenger even if Una team up as Avengers. Everything is set on the track Ipso Factor. Check this out again. They don't like your music, they decry your page. Anything I put DJ for fine scoop. The men they don't love you, they want make you fuck on my corner for choice and for my soup. You know my vision be heavenly. Every day two, three, seven lean. Moon like glow with the melanin. Baby, she still be checking me. Man, I OG, check your calendar. Bring back that hot lavender. You know, if it be my challenger, like when I go pop like the Avengers. Early money time. Once I call this album, no pressure drop, I'll be here to dissect every lyrics. But for now, it's no pressure. Any day I drop a tune, feel nerve, hurry up, I drop tune. Always keep it coming, always coming. Celebrity wedding on debts. What happened? The internet was crazy this week. Cameroonian actress Sangilo and Imasa Sigi Wanji, they face some difficulties right now 
after their wedding, that was one month ago, they accused him as I say go borrow money for can do the wedding and now he be unable to pay the money we be borrowed for do the wedding. I must confess that the wedding was mind blowing. They say don't borrow now the money, now for pay, he be unable. They talk about trust breach, the grammar around this is crazy. The rumors they thought say, as he don't be able to pay the money, they don't sentence him for 10 years imprisonment and presently he be content game. Oh, Congo, sir, for this industrial, you know, I wash hand. And some video be come out for Tuesday, where Siri be there inside the video, it be the chop for some restaurant. For that video, it get dates, it get time. Whereas on Monday, people then be the talk say, Siri de Kondengi. But how come on Tuesday, it be the restaurant, the chop? Now check this video out. Yeah. Hey, come on, start for this industry now. I wash and see a fear. What's even the issue here? Now they'll be the first person for borrow money for do their wedding. Is it strange? And then the start time. Not even at them. A lot of people borrow money to do their weddings, and it's not a strange thing. Why go around saying that he was unable to pay and that he has been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment when that is not the case? For now he is free. But the case they for court and it still be pending. So what have you confirmed when I say the number no year sentence for 10 years imprisonment, he know they condemn it. As when I don't see him for that video, he they free. But the issue still they caught. Our prayers to Sang Zilong. This might be a trying moment for her. Don't lose hope, keep the faith, and trust God. Trending in the Cameroon music industry is Magasco Big Bang Gift Challenge. Check this out. Say she likes sharp guys. Pull up in a range kind of guys. Pull up in a Benz kind of guys. Pull up, pull up, Lambo. This is a huge improvement from all the music challenges we've had so far in 237. And what's hot and juicy about this is that a whole lot of artists are jumping on it like crazy. We have A list artists and we have upcomers too. It's a whole vibe. As you can have it all. I mean like the body my way back. Way back. I mean we no be any kind of job, kind of job. But you the looks bien climatize. We when you pull up, them ask can we be that? Hey. I'm Dasha, na me the Dasha. I'm first name Queen, fierce like Sasha. Rapper that can sing, giving hope to all that suffer. If you cannot sleep, lie down, may I cover. The challenge has been dropping lately in all languages. We had it in grammar, in pidgin, in French. Even in the dialect, the salt language is part of this challenge. A big shout out to all the salt people watching me right now. Wrap it in the comment section and watch that. Oh. You don't hide me like a day now for day, but situation for the and all your mess are there, man. Yeah, I didn't know the shy the market respect. They the one that say the boy pull up just for the sex. You the time me where the boy when I relax. I don't go for for the choke him and just If you're an artist in this industry and you haven't jumped on this challenge. I am sorry to say this bro, you're missing out something huge which might have benefited your career. I have here some head honchos in this industry who want to jump on this challenge. But the devil, the fake I'll lie you. My best is planning to do an all-star remix on this song. We have we have Cleo Gray, we have my Monster, we have a whole lot of artists on this. I can't wait for the remix to drop because this song is so cool. Bye. Oh my God, this juice is not hot. It's not juicy. Yaoundé based makeup artist and entrepreneur Karen Knowles passed away last weekend and the reasons for her death are not clear. People say she was poisoned. What actually happened to Karen Knowles? Yeah, Karen died poisoned. Karen died poisoned. And you know, you will not know whether it's spiritual poison or it's physical poison or. This is a version. The other version says she was in the secret court. Yes, say the day Nyongo. Is that true? The way they come over to the talk, say you go take some, say you go take 
money for some bad place. They just start ask money, conditions, the other kind of stuff. Them things they just mix up because they see they see medicine, they see suicidal medicine, they see knife from a friend in mouth. You know, the way they start ask you questions, and you give a talk, you give a start talk any small so you know about your friend, even if you don't. Your friend will never get a thought, say one will wash or whatever, will never get some thoughts, say in one, it is sick, some kind of stuff, they give a star, they give a star talk. Are you guys serious with all the things you are saying about her? I myself now, I'm convinced, I don't know anything, I was with Karen yesterday, I'm not sure Karen was poisoned, Karen had an issue, if you get an if if get issue, but what she told me was issue like, we needed money like, she just told me that she needed money, so I just gave her the money to solve the issue. But I don't know what's happening to her, but the issue was really serious from all what I saw. So I don't know, I don't, but she was explained to me. But now I was to talk to her today because I was at work. Now I'm guessing that she's dead, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm really lost. It's rather unfortunate this is the wicked world we live in, where others are struggling to make it in life, others are just there looking for poison to give people wicked set of people. This brings me back to my from five school time with the Julius Caesar story, where he was murdered by people he loved and he called friends. This is actually the kind of friends we keep. Beware of your entourage. Not everybody that calls you friend is really your friend. And like to say, person where they kill you, not they ever come out far. Karin was poisoned by someone close to her. Autopsy was made and the results were not made public. So Karin's sister came on social media trying to disclaim the fact that she was in the secret court by saying that it was confirmed at the hospital that Karin was poisoned. What a wicked world. And my question to you is, what can you learn from this? segment of this program thank you so very much guys for still watching if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe please subscribe subscribe hit the notification button too top 10 countdown coming up right away our number 10 video is coming straight away from Cameroonian dance hall artist boy this the song is titled nyamo watch and enjoy on va jamais reculer Nous sommes ensemble jusqu'à la fin And we'll keep on winning and winning on this course I'm in the Coming up at the ninth position is this beautiful smashing collab song from DJ Splash Featuring Slim Harley, Naira Mali and Latifa Red Can we rest? Can we rest? Vanessa, can we rest? Opio, can we rest? Kame, can we rest? On va te moulico, can we rest? Occupies the eighth position with this beautiful song. Malgré l'offre, je t'ai blessé, toi tu m'as jamais lâché. Suis toujours. Coming up at the seventh position is Asabo, brand new release single. Tickets songs comes up with this beautiful song. Coming up at the fifth position, we have Cameroonian at Zitra. The song is titled Hope. Young Time comes up with Godly Vibes. Pops up at the second position, my love I the from you, baby. It's broken. I know my one video of the week is this beautiful collabo 
song for Martin featuring Kosi. The song is produced by Afrobeat and the title of the song is Ki Adi. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> On our pick of the week, Mama Atalaku recently got married and I am so, so happy for her. Like they say, God's time is the best. Check out her beautiful wedding photo. for today's episode of hot and juicy with me your baddest host miss may thank you very much guys for watching before we go our sincere heartfelt condolences to multiple awards winning cameroonian actor kang kintos who recently lost his father we currently have damaris who is a cameroonian actress and is cast on the fisherman's diary she just lost her mother too our sincere heartfelt condolences to you guys be strong god knows best don't forget to let me know what you think about today's episode in the comment section. It was a pleasure being in your company. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit the notification button and subscribe below. For more updates on the Cameroon entertainment industry, keep following us on all our social media handles. We are on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. It's 227 Showbiz. And follow to our new division, which is 227 Showbiz Studios. I'll be right back next week with much more hot touches.